Hi guys, uh, I wouldn't want to say good morning because uh, it's not a good morning. We have lost the, se the match in the semis. We have not lost, we have been thrashed. That's the word. I watched the match from New Zealand. I was very, very disappointed. And I can imagine how people feel after watching the match. Fitness has to be a very important part in any team. Just look at Rohit Sharma. I don't have to comment on it, but you can draw your own conclusions. And what came to my mind was after the match that uh, there's a difference between people who are hungry and people who have their stomachs full. The IPL is a very lucrative project which has made a lot of cricketers rich. I'm, I'm not against money, but uh, at the end of the day, it is what it is. And I did not see that hunger in the players to win the match. Let me hit the nail on the head. The selection process was weak. Everybody has to be blamed and heads must roll. Like Sunil Gavaskar says, uh, Nobody asked the question before, before the match. Obviously, nobody is going to ask you the question before the match because when the going is good, everyone keeps going. But when the going is tough, the tough get going and we are not the tough side. We need to admit it. The way England batted in the first six overs, the match, had, match was over. I wanted to switch off. Our batting in the power play in most of the matches was miserable. We also, one more thing which I noticed, we kept wickets. For what? Go wild. Let the wickets fall. Be aggressive. Indian team was a timid team. With all the IPL experience that people talk about, a lot of people boast. Indians boast about the IPL. And after all this, if you're producing a team like this and telling me that this is the best team in the country. I think there's something wrong with the system. Bhuvneshwar, Shami, Ashwin. This is the type of bowling. You want to, you, you want to have these uh, bowlers and win a World Cup? Look at the Pakistani team. Aggressive. Good bowling attack. Batting attack is good. They have good hitters. So they have a chance. We don't have a chance. By luck, we won against Pakistan. Otherwise, all the other matches were all touch and go. It was not a confident win. Except with Zimbabwe probably. Otherwise, every way we struggled. That itself shows that there's something wrong with the team selection with the team. I would recommend, before going for such event, we need to have about two, three teams in our country, A, B and C, which we already have. Let them play against one another, prove and then select them. Many of our players are selected by default and that is a ridiculous way to choose a team. And this is the price you pay. Very hurt with this, the outcome of the match. If we would have fought and we would have lost, I would have said, no problem, it's fine. But not like this. You don't lose a semi-final by 10 wickets. All the players should have a look in the mirror and uh, reflect on what they're doing. If we have to have better cricket in the future. Good luck, guys.